Merit's Vision Ultra Power Chair. This power chair has one mile, so again, it was delivered, someone never used it. Um, Vision uh, Ultra Power Chair by Merit's. This chair has the electric tilt and it has the electric feet. Two electrical functions. There's a lot of other things on this chair that's different than most chairs, which we'll cover as we go along. But the first thing we'll do, I'm going to show you how to make the seat tilt first. So if you want the seat to tilt on this chair, you would go to the joystick. On the joystick, there's two pictures. A picture of a seat on two different sides of the joystick. So if you hit the seat button on the left side, it'll make the seat tilt. If you hit the button on the right side, it'll make the foot plate tilt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the button on the right side and it lights up. Then I'm going to use this, this joystick right here to make it go back. So another thing about the chair, when you start with this one, you'll start at 19 inches. So a lot of people want to be lower than 20, 22. So the top of the seat when you start is at 19 inches when you're sitting down. Okay, so the height of the seat from the ground to the top of the seat when it's down is 19 inches. So this is called your electric tilt. When the tilt goes back, this is the tilt. It takes the legs and it takes the back because they're all connected together. So this is called your electric tilt right here. And it's a slow tilt, which is good. And we'll see how far it goes. All right, it's a pretty good tilt. All right. So you could easily, this is good because if you want to relieve pressure and you want to relieve pressure off your bottom or you want to have circulation in your legs or you just want to relax, you want to wash someone's hair, it's nice to be tilted this far back. Now I'm going to hit the button on the right side. I'm going to extend the legs out. So you can see these are your electric legs. Now we can adjust these feet, this, this foot plate, okay? So this is as far as this will go, okay, when you're tilted back like this. So you have your feet up a little bit, that's what it would look like. So I'm going to bring the seat back down. So as I said, it's a slow tilt. Why it goes down, let's talk about this. This is called a swing away joystick. So if you're right handed, it's already set up for the right. We can switch everything to the left if you're left handed. The joystick and the swing away can go to the left. The arms do flip up. So if you want to transfer from the side, you can flip the arms up. So. So if you're tilted all the way back, the feet will, will not go up. They won't go all the way up to here, but they'll go up to here. As you can see, it went up some more now. And I'm sure once the seat is all the way down, they'll come up level with the seat. So if we go all the way down with the seat, all the way back down flat. And the nice thing about this chair also, it's built really solid. These are solid arms. I can push on this arm as much as I want, and you, there's no give. So if you, go, if you want a chair where you can push off, you can see how solid that square tubing is for these arms are right here. So I'm going to bring the seat all the way back down. You can't even hear the motors on this thing. All right, so now I'm going to do the legs again. There we go. Now I'm not sure if we leave the legs up like this and then we go back, if they'll stay up like that or they'll go start going down. Let's just see right here. Okay, so if you want your legs higher than your body and you want them all up like this, you have to start with the legs out before you start tilting, okay? If you tilt the seat first, they're only going to go up to here. So you can see right now how we're tilting back and now your feet are way up there. And I can keep going all the way up to here if I wanted to. Okay, so we're going to bring the seat back down. So we just learned something here on this chair. It's a gorgeous looking chair by the way. I love the color white. It just looks classy and looks clean. You have suspension all the way around on this chair, which I'll cover in a minute here. So we're going to bring the seat back down. There we go. Now we're going to bring the legs back down. You notice how large that foot plate is also. So that's an extra large foot plate, which is nice. And you have calf pads here. And the foot plate does flip up when you exit the chair, so, which I'll show you here in a minute. So we'll see how far back the legs will go on this chair. That's when we see how far in they're going to go. This is as far as it would go. And when you exit the chair, that's what it looks like. You'd have a little bit of intrusion here, so you'd have to be careful. But this is, this is the best you're going to get if you're going to get out of this chair, unless you want to get out from the side and pivot around, okay? 
So let's look at the, let's put it back in drive. Let's look at the, the base on the chair. So you can see we have suspension here. You can see the suspension if I push down and you have the same suspension up front. You have these heavy duty shocks. So this is for this fork. So you have four of these all the way around. So this chair has a really good, really good suspension. Okay. So we have also anchor points. If you need to secure your chair for transportation, you see these little weld right here. You have four of these around the chair. So these are really nicely set up on the frame right here. Also, if I want to push this chair, you notice I can't push it because it's in gear and it probably weighs 300 pounds, maybe 350. But if you turn the power off, and the reason you want the power off, you want no resistance in the motor. The motor is right here. You can see a little bit of it. It goes this way directly to the hub, okay? So if you want to use, push this chair, all you have to do is take this handle, push it down, and now you're in neutral. You can actually see the rear shock on both of these sides right here while we're at it. So that puts the chair, and this is a real easy one to push around, okay? You can see the suspension at work. When you're done putting both sides in neutral, make sure you put the wheels back in gear, then you can turn your power back on, okay? It's a mid-wheel drive, so it turns on its own length. So if you have this in the house, this is what you're looking at inside your home. Now the seat on this chair, we're not going to be able to change this seat. So if you're buying this chair, you're getting the seat that's on here now. It's 20 by 20, 20 wide, 20 deep. You have a safety belt. You can put your own cushion on here. So if you want to put your own cushion, you're more than welcome. It already has a cushion, a low profile cushion. It has a nice back. It's not leather, but it feels like leather. You have an adjustable headrest also. So if you look at the headrest, it is removable and it has all kinds of adjustments on here. So they have all these handles. I'm going to put a little bit higher. You have push bars on this chair. So if you want to push this chair, the nice thing about this chair, it comes with push bars already on the chair. The arms are adjustable in height. You can see the lever right here and we can raise the arms up. Probably have to take all this out. And then you can raise the arm a little higher if you want to, okay? The arms are adjustable. If you need to see a little deeper, it's 20 deep, we can move the back a little bit more. We can make it 22 deep. Or if it's too deep, you want it 18 inches deep, we can move the seat forward. But we can't change the width. That's going to stay at 20, 20 inches, okay? So when you charge the batteries in this chair, you'll take the, I'm going to use this charger for example. I'm not quite sure what charger came with it, but Plug the charger right here, and as soon as the light turns green on your charger, you're fully charged, okay? Now, a couple things about this chair. This chair is 24 inches wide, okay? So the width from arm to arm is 26 inches. Okay, so, so the wheels are 24 inches, but the arms are wider than the wheels, okay? So you remember from outside to outside, 26 inches is your number from outside of outside arm. We cannot make them less. We cannot make them more. They're, they're screwed into the uh, frame. So it's 26 inches is your magic number, okay? Also, this chair has a 300 pound weight capability. So it has a big seat, but the maximum weight of this chair is 300 pound weight capability. Top speed is between five and six miles an hour. Uh, it has a range of about 12 miles on a battery charge. Now that 12 miles on a battery charge, it all depends on the weight of the user. If you're outside, if you're going uphill, if you're in the grass, you're not going to get 12 miles. But it'll, it should run all day long with no problem, okay? So again, this is the Merits uh, Vision Ultra Power Chair. This power chair has one mile. It has the electric tilt, the electric feet, or the electric foot plate, I should say. It has suspension all the way around. It has solid tires that will not mark your floor. It has the electric tilt, the electric feet, which I just repeated myself again. It has the push bars. It has the headrest, the swing away joystick. It has the flip up arm, the safety belt. So if you're looking for a really nice power chair with suspension and you just need tilt and feet, this would be a nice one. This is the Merits Vision Ultra Power Chair. 
this is truly a nice power chair I'm not just saying that because I have it here but uh, I can feel the suspension on this power chair this is this is not a high high-end power chair but it's built like one so the top speed that says in the manual is five miles an hour but I think this one goes maybe five five and a half miles an hour very easy to control the uh, the joystick is very uh, it doesn't have any uh, sharp movement in it so you can see the turning radius it's a really nice chair No problem in the grass. So, you know, my grass has a good bottom. So as long as your yard has a good solid bottom, you're not gonna have any problem with the chair. You gotta stay away from sand and mushy, mushy ground, okay? So this is the Merit Vision Ultra Power Chair. Uh, it has this electric tilt, electric feet. It has the flip up arms. It has the 20 by 20 seat. We can make the back a little deeper or less deep. If you wanna move the back foot, we can do that. Uh, it has the anchor points all the way around the chair, the solid tires. It has one mile, so pretty much new. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.